Hello viewers, how are you doing today? Been doing a little bit of building at Exercised Cavern Cottage. This is what I've come up with so far. Still very much a building in progress. But you can see I found one of the vampiric stained glass windows very red which is a new antiquity in Markarth. Came with the Markarth TLC. So rather than satisfy myself with the existing Coven Cottage, which I'm sure you realise is, is this thing here. A very modest structure with a a strawish kind of roof which I've hidden entirely so all that remains to be seen is well the walls and yes that's, that's it really the roof is gone concealed behind this I'm going to put these tree ladies into into the structure, weave them in. Eventually, sort of plop them in kind of around about here. So that softens the structure so it's not quite so bleed and obvious. Also, to suggest that they're nature deities of the region are taking over taking over management mm, that's interesting I like that I leave it like that foliage inside. Let's see how, how it looks inside. So my premises are kind of a, a castle-like tower, or certainly a gothic tower, belonging to a major wizard. Some Gandalf-like character. Or Saruman, if you remember. The other main wizard character in Lord of the Rings. Saruman. Because he lived in Isengard and the, the tower there, Orthanc. Nothing like this. Orthanc was a kind of a black glassy obsidian tower. This is very white. Very marble, very Alanor, Gothic. So I want it to look like it's a believable architecture. 
hence there are arches supporting things, there are no large spans of of uh, masonry unsupported except here and then I put an arch in here to support that so I might do the same again there hmm yes it does the tree does intrude in a bit so I might have to move it again Going upstairs into the main room. I'm going to put a floor in there, but I'm not quite sure at what height. I can put the floor there. I can put the floor there. It really depends. Mm. Upside down fireplaces, in case you didn't recognise them. I need a few more arches, I think three more, to complete that side. There's another fireplace there. Unless I leave it open for the view on that side. It's possible. I could do that. And of course I picked up quite a few of these. At the same time as the Eleanor Arches. It was an event. Somewhat said event. Various structural pieces were available for event tickets. This is fast becoming my favourite house. <laughs> Just because it's an interesting shape. Got an interesting aesthetic. And then a certain level of impact. You come in here and ooh, look at that. Which is the kind of impact I'm going for. Yes, yeah, so I'll have to move that tree lady around a bit. Get her settled. But as I said, this is far from finished. It's still a work in progress, very much so. And if you like it, and if you want to see more, you can signify that by leaving a like on my video. How else am I supposed to know? I'm not sufficiently sus to know how to access comments. I'm very social media ignorant. So the best way to signify your interest is to leave a like. If you like what I'm doing, you want to see more, leave a like. And that's probably enough for now. My gothic structure going up at Covent Cottage. Thank you for watching. And do remember to like it if you like it. <laughs> Thank you. And bye bye for now. Cheerio. Ta ta.